Zimbabwe is home to Lake Kariba, the world's biggest man-made lake. It is a country known for its natural wonders, such as Lake Victoria, the world's biggest waterfall. Zimbabwe is a landlocked nation in Southeast Africa, surrounded by South Africa to the south, Botswana to the southwest, Zambia to the north, and Mozambique to the east. Harare is the capital and largest city. Bulawayo, the second biggest city, will host the $600 million Zambezi Water Project. Zimbabwe, a country of around 15 million people, has 16 official languages. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. According to Section 77 of Zimbabwe's Constitution, every individual has a right to safe, clean, and drinkable water, and the state shall adopt appropriate legislative and other means, within the limits of its resources, to ensure the gradual realization of this right. Lack of critical water treatment chemicals prompted Harari's Morton Jaffray Water Treatment Facility to cease operations on September 23, 2019 leaving over 1 million people without flowing water. The Harare City Council, HCC, blamed the stoppage on foreign currency shortages. Inak Mupamewand, deputy mayor, requested the government to declare the water situation a national catastrophe, claiming that the local authority requires at least 40 million Zimbabwe dollars, 2.7 million US dollars, each month for water chemicals, but only collecting 15 million Zimbabwe dollars per month. The World Health Organization, WHO, recommends that everyone have access to between 50 and 100 liters of water per day in order to meet the most basic needs and avoid disease outbreaks. Due to severe shortages of this vital and life-saving liquid, many Zimbabweans fall well short of this threshold. So it comes as no surprise that the Zimbabwean government is investing $600 million on the Matebleland Zambezi water project to permanently alleviate the country's current water problem. The Matebleland Zambezi water project is a huge water project in Zimbabwe's Matebleland North Province that intends to ease the continuous water scarcity that has afflicted Zimbabwe's second largest city, Bulawayo, by supplying water from the mighty Zambezi River. The massive project is being carried out in three stages. The first phase is the Gwei Shangani Dam. The second phase is the Gwei Shangani Dam to Bulawayo Pipeline, and the last phase is the Gwei Shangani Dam to Zambezi River Pipeline. The Gwei Shangani Dam, built by China International Water and Electric Corporation, CWE, will be completed in the first phase. CWE is constructing a roller compacted concrete gravity dam 70 meters high and 305 meters wide. The facility will store 634 million cubic meters of water and will be located 6 kilometers downstream of the confluence of the Gwei and Shangani rivers, which are Zambezi River tributaries. With phase 1 nearing completion, CWE aims to open the reservoir in 2022, after the pandemic limitations are gone. According to the Chinese corporation, the reservoir is scheduled to be operational this year. However, travel restrictions enforced by authorities during the pandemic's height substantially slowed project development. The installation of an intake in the new dam is the project's second phase. Water will be transported to Bulawayo via a 260-kilometer pipeline and pumping stations that connect the Gwei Shangani Dam to Bulawayo, which the Zimbabwean government has recently begun laying. The pipeline route has been assigned to local firms, who will seek to finish the job for $1.5 million, 
The Zimbabwean government plans to purify the water for domestic use, with part of it going to the dry Madeblaland area to support irrigation systems. The third phase of the project involves the building of bulk water extraction infrastructure on the Zambezi River, as well as a second pipeline connecting it to the Guayshangani Bulawayo pipelines. When finished, the Guayshangani Canal, hailed as a lifesaver for Bulawayo's long standing water deficit, would have the potential to supply approximately 160 million cubic meters of water to the city yearly. The Madeblaland Zambezi Water Project is categorized as a mega project since it costs $600 million, which is a large expenditure for an African country. Zimbabwean President Emerson M. Nangagwa spoke at the opening ceremony of the Gwei Shangani Water Project, resolving that the water project will undoubtedly assist in reducing water shortages in the southwestern area. The groundbreaking ceremony for the Gwei Shangani Water Project, according to President M. Nangagwa, is a big step forward in enhancing water security and supply in Bulawayo and its environs. The embankment, which will be Zimbabwe's third biggest landlocked water body, will have a net storage capacity of 690 million cubic meters of water, which is more than 1.8 times that of Bulawayo's existing supply dams combined. Meanwhile, the Zimbabwean government has found a temporary solution to the city of Bulawayo's water crisis, while the country would have to wait until 2022 to take benefit of the new Madeblaland Sambezi water project facilities. The Nyaman Levu Aquifer Water Project, which President M. Nangagwa also announced, is anticipated to boost Bulawayo's water supply by supplying approximately 20 million liters of water per day. Zimbabwe's latest water problem is based in a catastrophic drought that began in 2018. While some regions of the nation have received a temporary reprieve with intermittent rainfall in recent months, more earth parching weather is expected in the coming years. The government effort with investment in the building of the Gwei Shingani Water Project is viewed as the best approach in alleviating the country's water concerns by notable water experts, since the reservoir would retain adequate water for usage during dry seasons. Water shortage has always been a problem in Africa. Water crisis is expected to reach dangerously high levels in Africa by 2025. It is projected that by 2025, about two-thirds of the world's population would face a fresh water scarcity. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa highlighted the need of investing in the development of Africa's potential water resources to eliminate avoidable suffering, guarantee food security, and safeguard economic benefits by efficiently managing droughts, floods, and desertification. Some proposed and existing initiatives to do this include a focus on infrastructure installations and upgrades to wells, rainwater collection systems, and clean water storage tanks. African nations are heavily investing into water projects, none more than Kenya, with three ongoing water projects, notably the Kenya Integrated Water, Sanitation, and Hygiene Project, Kiwash. Kiwash works with water and sanitation providers to help them develop business plans, enhance operations, and obtain financing. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.